everybody, it's Jess. It's Brad with Razorback Armory, and we're doing our Bullet Points podcast. Kind of a real quick one here. We get this question a lot, so our frequently asked questions. Do I need a concealed carry permit? So, state of Missouri, technically, you do not. We have constitutional carry. I think as a shop, as personally, you and I, yeah. um, if you're going to carry a gun and you're going to do it more frequently than not, it's best to have the best afforded protections to you, which right. would be getting a CCW. Right. So if you were looking to get a CCW, what would you do? Well, if I was, you know, assuming I had the gun that I liked mm -hmm. and I was, I was, had gone through the process in my mind and saying that I'm going to carry, which yeah. is a responsibility to you and to everyone else around you. Correct. Um, I would, I prefer that people have the concealed carry because that means they go through a class, get yeah. some training and they understand what the rules are. Yes. You know, you just can't yeah, willy nilly out there just carrying a gun just making it up as you go yeah that's so we really want to make sure that you go through a class um and i would find a reputable there's you can look them up yep. you can find people that teach concealed carry you know definitely check their reviews on things like that yes. yeah um, but go through their class and then depending on where you live your process is look where you might go yes. to get it yeah. um but you would get a basically a certificate yeah. of completion yeah so whoever, and, whoever does your yeah. course, so whoever does your course, okay, and, and where you live will be a little bit different. We're going to talk about Missouri because that's yeah. where we are. So whoever does your course in Missouri, uh, it's going to be an eight-hour course. You're going to do a lot of the boring stuff, a lot of the paper, a lot of the books. Some guys do a little video. Some, you know, there, there's different ways of doing it. There's no one way is right. Uh, just make sure that your instructor, the person that's teaching you, you, you kind of jive. Or, you know, yeah. you're getting what they're saying. You understand what they're saying, and then you're going to have a shoot and show proficiency. Right. Uh, it doesn't mean you're a marksman. Doesn't mean you're, you know, you're qualified to do anything other than basically hit the target at seven yards with 20 rounds. But you're at least getting some some shooting in. You're getting that proficiency. They've told you about the law. They've told you about what you should and shouldn't do. Right. Um, and like Brad was saying, finding that person, you know, the Google reviews. Look them up. Depending on where you're located, you may go to a local range. Most local yeah. ranges have a CCW instructor. Um, but once you, you've done that and you feel good and you're going to carry a gun, and this doesn't mean once you get your CCW, you have to carry a gun every day, right? Because yeah. you have a CCW? Right. No, just no, when you want to. Just when you want to. If you feel the need to, if you want to carry a firearm, if that is your choice, this just brings you up to another level of competency, proficiency, you, you feel that you've done everything right. Also, the law is more on your side if for some reason you did have to use your weapon. Um, and that's that's with a CCW, concealed carry weapons permit, if you will. Right. Um, and yeah, like I was saying, depending on where you go, uh, if you're in St. Louis County, you go to St. Louis County, Jeff County, Franklin County, St. Charles County, uh, you, you're gonna go to the county seat. Your instructor who's giving you the course should be able to point you in that direction and what the fees are going to be at each individual county seat. And, and um, one thing to keep in mind too is it does, if you travel, mm -hmm. it does allow you reciprocity oh, yeah. with certain Much states. Um, the constitutional carry um, is real vague on what, even though there are 11 states, I believe currently yeah. right now that do it, it doesn't mean that those 11 states recognize your constitutional carry. It's a really completely, yes. yeah, completely. It's a very vague, um, interpretation so you could you could find yourself in some hot yeah. water yeah. and not meaning to um, but what it also allows you is you don't have to know every municipality's little yes, ordinance, ordinance well. um, and and laws so like you know just where we are we have a lot of little cities right around us in our in our urban area I don't have to know all those my concealed carry permit basically trumps all those yes, and I and I in Missouri yes. and I, I can go wherever it's allowed for concealed carry and I don't have to know what every little municipality's little ordinance is on it because I have the concealed I went through the class yes. and I've got my permit if you're using the constitutional carry okay. you are required to know all the little ordinances yeah so if you're going to do constitutional carry which we agree with we think yes. it's a good thing I, we're not anti-constitutional carry but um, you have to know what you are doing uh, when people come in and ask us about constitutional carry, we tell them, if you're going to do that, go to the state's website. Right. Go to that. You And instead of having an instructor, you're going to read it, comprehend it, understand where you right. should and where you can and cannot carry, where you should be carrying, where you shouldn't be carrying. And you're going to have to digest that information and you're going to have to comprehend it and then execute it and, and do it yourself. Right. Which is not a bad idea for a lot of people. Some people right. that don't live in an urban area, they're not worried about small municipalities and maybe they're just, you know, going down the street and back. 
constitutional carry may be really good for them. Yes. Kind of where we are and what we see and people that are generally wanting to carry more than just somewhat infrequently. Right. Um, as a shop, we do recommend CCW. We don't we don't teach CCW. We don't do CCW classes. This is not an informational brochure on come to us for CCW. No. This is just about wanting to put um, people in touch with instructors, if they will, to get that training if you are going to carry a weapon. It's a choice. It's a choice. And, and, it's, and it's a very important choice that you make, comprehend, and understand. Correct. But I think I think that's that's kind of our, our shop take on it, if you will. Yes. Um, and really, you know, when you think about it, if, if that's something you want to do, kind of just follow this as a little bit of a guideline. Hopefully, you go out there, you get your CCW, you get some training. Yes. Uh, you, you shoot what you're carrying. You know, you're, yes. you're, you shoot and show proficiency is what they say in the course, but you should also shoot and show proficiency in what you're carrying on more than a more than a yearly level you know if you're carrying a firearm it is a choice but it's also a responsibility um, that you are not going to do more damage or harm mm -hmm. to to someone else around you um, and then also when you get home lock them up keep them safe you know all, all those away from the kids all, all that stuff all that stuff that, that is is good stewardship or good gun ownership yeah, right um, just kind of kind of flows right through that but I'm Jess. I'm Brad. This has been our Bullet Points podcast on concealed carry, should I get a CCW permit. We appreciate you watching and thanks. You guys have a great day.